Hey guys, it's uh, Eminem4186. I'm going to bring you another review, but this time it's going to be on an app. This app is called um, KVAD Group Photo Studio Editor. Let's just bring it up to the camera here. Okay, hold on. Okay, so let's scroll down. It is right here. There's a free version, and the pro version is $4 on the Blackberry App World. Um, so right here it brings you up to your screen because we all know the blackberries don't have their built-in photo editor so I've made two photos you can take a picture on um, the camera uh, hold on right. and back and uh, let's go back and here, so here's a photo. You can add filters. So let's add, uh, oops, let's add a behind the glass effect, right? Or the grayscale. You get your amount of grayscale you want. I uh, have like sepia. You can save that. Has your action sets. Uh, you can add effects. You download add-ons as well. So let's make it kind of grainy. Instance. So there's add-ons you can download for free. Uh, this add-on right here says Photo Studio Pro is the actual forward. So you can't download it for free. Um, some stuff is locked on the... Uh, free version. But either than that, it is fairly decent. Got a color splash here, which this feature is better if you have a uh oh it's only on it's not available on the free version it's not available on the free version but it's better if you have a touch screen phone which is not uh you can add text See where you want to put it, how long you want it to be. Type your text here, so... Um... Zoom this in a bit. Compute... Er... Mouse. Okay, so let's just zoom this back out. Uh... So I'm gonna push the save. And you can go like add, uh, yeah, you add text, you can change the brightness, contrast, your saturation level, and you know how bright you want it to be. It's a fairly um, basic app, you can resize it. Right, I'm just going to leave this, I'm going to leave it to there, there we go. You can change the hue. Uh, so, yeah, it's a very, very basic app. You can click this, and it saves the job. You can click on this, you can share it. Oh, let's edit, oops. Uh, you can resize that, share it on BBM. So you can save it to the camera, so let's do original. And, yeah, it will take a while but it is uh, one of the best apps out there on the app world that will let you edit photos um, put filters on them bad text and it's good for the free version you download those add-ons you get a lot more so if you're just looking for a free version of it yeah there it is it's not trial which is nice so you can keep it on as long as the phone's life pretty much and uh, fairly decent app, just saying. Uh, Photo Studio Pro I haven't purchased yet, but I plan to, but I don't have the time. Or I just don't really <laughs> want to. But all in all, it's a very decent app. I'll put the th few pictures at the end that I used uh, in the photo editing app. Uh, there is some other features I'll show you. 
once this is done. There is a feature in the photos, I'll show you in the menu. So let's, let's go to the photos. So you can go into your photos. You can go over one of the uh, photos. Right. You can watch this and you can, go, you can scroll down or scroll, there we go. You can edit it with Photo Studio. I don't know if it's going to come into focus there. Uh, so basically, you can edit with Photo Studio, which is handy. So, yeah, it's a fairly basic app. Very good app for the BlackBerry. Uh, it I've noticed a bit of battery drainage with the app. If you leave it running in the background, it might drain your battery more than it should. I'll put the download link in the description below for the free version and the paid version for you people that want it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Join me next time for another tech review or another app review. Thanks, guys. Peace out.